guys ever wondered how a USB stick got built? Uh, over here we can just see the first step of all. This is uh, the raw USB stick or the fundamental one coming over here and they're putting it into a magazine that you saw before. And then we need to head over here. They're getting into um, the first machine which is called um, the solder path printer which you can see on this little fellow over here. 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 Then we're heading over to the so-called SPI, which is a solder path inspection. That's an optical inspection. So they're just checking out if it everything got printed in the right way and uh, the solar paste uh, inspection is just getting checked on this little computer so over there you can see the layout and everything and then we're coming over to the ship shooter well, that's like a kind of automatic gun for USB sticks now just getting the ships on there And the next step would be um, the IC mounter, where they're getting the connectors on the USB and the ICs. And then just, just what I would love to point out, over here you can also see all the time which kind of model, which kind of layout they are having, right? They are receiving this from a central database it's getting to the different production lines so they can always see, okay, when they're coming up with a new model, they can update this on this computer over here. And then it's finally getting into the oven. So, I mean, all these um, solar paste needs to get sealed on the USB stick. And so this is a huge huge oven and it takes about five to six minutes to seal it so they're running through this what is it like 10 feet something like this 10 to 12 feet oven finally coming to kind of in between step right um, they're getting out of here getting rearranged repacked into new magazines to finally then go into um, the uh, so-called uh, AOI. So um, that's the automatic optical inspection, um, which is the final check for the USB sticks before they're before they're getting into their package right now, right? Which would be a different machine then. So uh, we just got one floor up and to go to the next production step of the USB stick. So here you can see these magazines that came uh, out of this production line where we saw everything uh, with the solder pass printing and how they got sealed and everything. But remember, we have still, you know, they need to get cut because uh, we have like, like, like two um, USB sticks or two devices on just one SMT. So they're getting into this uh, machine over here with these magazines. And then they're getting cut by a little, what is it? Any kind of little mini uh, chainsaw CNC system, or whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm not an expert on this, but I mean, you will get it. Uh, when you look down there, uh, you would see how it's getting just cut in half. And then coming back, uh, taking it over to finally get rid of all the extra stuff around it. So it's producing a little bit of garbage. And you know, over there, finally, we have the single versions of the USB, of course, without the packaging because that would be the next step. 
So actually, after we've been running out of memory at Nicole's um, SDHC card for a camera, which is kind of interesting to have this happen at a memory manufacturer, but I guess Kingston, the fine folks over here at Kingston can help us out. I would still have some five minutes left on this one. So let's just get quickly over to this machine, which is actually a kind of uh, testing process over here. So they're just doing a read and rewrite uh, uh, operation into the memory, just checking if everything works out properly. And yeah, so it's more a kind of testing process. So after we did the function test at this machine, uh, finally, as you know, I mean, you can't sell these USB sticks like this, you know? We need to get some casing around it. And that's this little machine over here. Um, it's doing the top and the bottom casing. So you can see these fancy colors and of course, they are all kind of different casing. I'm pretty sure that Kinks is also doing a lot of ODM casing or you know, customized versions of it. And after they got into this case, we are finally coming to um, a kind of final function test, which is happening over here. You see the, a lot of tests going on between the different work steps. Um, so Kingston is really making sure to keep up um, the quality of their USB sticks, of their memory, so that you, know, that you don't have to send your USB stick back because it's broken or whatever during the production process. I just forgot a very important step over here. Of course, these little uh, USB sticks needs to get labeled, even though we already have the Kingston logo and name on there. So, you know, but finally we're coming back to a little bit of, you know, old fashioned, manufacturing and handwork. So you can see these fellas over here are just getting the stickers on there on the back side of the Kingston USB stick. And this is then definitely the final step before we're going into the packaging. stage here you can see they're manually put into boxes. Uh, they count out how many are put in and then check the number by weight. You can see the scale on top right in the corner there. They're then sealed up and shipped off to a store near you. So that's how a USB is made.